is the Royce and welcome back. one thoughtful word of kindness than praises in a crowded church when my days on earth are ended. Behind my back, you gossip a lot. You don't like me for who I am. You frown and spit at my sight. And when I'm gone to be with my maker, words of praises are full in your mouth. Say a kind word when I can hear it than saying it when I'm gone. I would rather see one friendly smile from loved ones than tears shed round my coffin when my days on earth are through. Sometimes I sleep hungry. No one can give me to eat. My children go to school no more. In tattered clothes, they go to church, but nobody seems to care. And when I'm gone, tears are shed day and night. Food and clothes to my children are taken, but just for a day. Show me a kind act when I need it, than doing it when I'm gone. Come Christmas, Christian's greatest day, a day to give and take, but alas, to them that have only. Flowers are exchanged, a sign of love. But poor me, the day is just like any other, for no one remembers me. The day I'm gone to be with my maker, a grave is dug, my final resting place. Flowers are full, roses for that matter. Purple ones, blue ones, orange ones, and red ones to crown them all. Made in all shapes, oval shape, round shape, and the sign of the cross. On my grave they are laying but all in futility, for I cannot see flower growing wild, or just a leaf instead, to brighten my heart and make me happy while I can see, than laying roses on my grave and leave them there to rot. I would rather have one petal now, than thousands when I'm gone. We are going into our wise words segment and we are going to see what our young men in Kagumo High School have to say about this particular topic that we are talking about. I'm joined by this young man from Kagumo Boys High School and they're going to talk, tell us about faith. We are talking about faith today. So tell us what is faith? What do you think faith is? So to me, 
first my name is Ishmael Rono. Mm -hmm. uh, to me faith, what I can say faith is, it is believing or the assurance of realities that have not yet manifested. Mm -hmm. From even Hebrews chapter 11, mm -hmm. speaks of assurance of things not yet seen. Not that they are not there, but it is not yet seen by mm -hmm. our eyes. Okay, yes. That is a good definition. Thank you, Ishmael. So secondly, we are going to see, is it important to have faith? And if it is important, what would you say? What would you elaborate about the importance of faith? Tell us. Yeah, for starters, my name is Cedric. Mm -hmm. And about faith, I would say faith is important because when you look in the books of the gospel, that is Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. Honestly, when Jesus was going to heal the people, mm -hmm. he never wanted anything less, he never wanted any money. All he asked was just faith. All that he wanted was just faith. Faith is like a currency that we have. In order for God to, to answer our prayers, all he needs that is faith. Uh, there was a time I listened, I was listening to a certain pastor and was saying sometimes as Christians we pray and pray and pray and we see it's like God has not answered our prayers. But the reason that he has not answered, you know, for, for starters, God does not set a corner dustbin in heaven. He answers all prayers. He was keeping it in a way that faith is like the language of God. That... For example, if let's say, okay, I'm a Kikuyu and you're a Ramasai, and let's say that you have no, you know, no other language but Maasai. Mm -hmm. And so when I come to you, let's say for starters, maybe I've dropped a pen over there, and I tell you, go and pick for me that pen. You won't, okay, you won't, mm -hmm. and so with us Christians, faith is the language of God. Ukiombo, 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 and when faith, siyati munga mekusnob. But if you have faith, mungu atajibu tiyo moombi. So in everything that you do, have faith. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That is a very good explanation. Now, they are going to tell us, the rest are going to tell us their instances of how they had faith and what their faith did for them. Tell us briefly. Well, um, Victor Kipchumba. And in life, in my real life situation, mm -hmm. uh, in my year in school, I had not been performing well in some of the subjects. Mm -hmm. So I, when I normally go for prayers, I will always pray, telling God that He, that He may help me to improve in those subjects. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, after praying, so I I I went to the class mm -hmm. and. Just as I opened my Bible, mm -hmm. uh, I found a, a verse saying that whatever you ask him from God, believe and, okay. and you have received. Mm -hmm. So that is the confirmation that faith in God is important. Okay. For it makes things you hope for to become to be a reality. Yes, very good. And you? Uh, to start, my name is Dixon Moremi. Mm -hmm. Some of the insta uh, instances in my life that I've experienced through faith mm -hmm. is about many things that I have faced in my life. Mm -hmm. Example is by having uh, be having diseases and example that therefore I, I pray to God and then I believe and trust in Him that whatever I pray to Him must happen because I have faith that God has given unto me. Secondly, is about my education life. Uh, to speak that I have not been performing too well, but because of God has given me faith to continue standing upon his name and he is ready to walk with us. So whenever we have faith as Christians, we are urged to go to have uh, to ask God in, in, in his name and he is ready to answer. So as Christians, we, we should have faith and uh, really strong faith so that whatever we ask in the name of the Lord is going to answer it and is going to bless us. So with that, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. You have heard from the young men here from Kagumo Boys High School. They've been talking about faith and you can see they have very solid points. I have nothing to add. Just remember, 
Faith is the currency of God. If we want anything that we ask, if we believe that we have received, then it shall be done to us by our Father in heaven. And that is what Jesus said. God bless you and we will see you next week. Transformation Process Histogram 1. Get a grasp, that is, know your purpose. 2. Get a goal, break it down into goals. 3. Get a guide, make an action plan. And 4. Get a gauge, measure your progress. Jesus had a purpose on earth. This was to bring salvation to mankind. His mission on earth had a goal. And the goal was to reconcile man back to God. Jesus made an action plan by dying on the cross. And his mission can be gauged how? By bringing salvation to humanity according to John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Up next, Roy's music.
This is our work here at the Roy's. We raise youthful soldiers for Christ. We equip them with what they need to become better people, even in society, that even as they grow, they are going to grow in the ways of the Lord. We need you to help us, even as we help these young people, with our comments, our encouragement, and what we think that they should do better. Tell us in the comments on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram at Royce for Christ what you think these young men have done very well and there's much that they've done well and what you think that they should improve or do better. If you prefer to give your comment on SMS, kindly use the number appearing on your screen and we will directly receive your message here at the Royce. We have been looking at Nyeri High School and Kagumo High School. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you'd like us to, to visit your institution, contact us on the number appearing on your screen. God bless you until next Saturday, same time but different school. I have been your host, Grace Michere. See you next week.